Good morning this Wednesday, the 21st of June. I'm Grady Wall for Market Analyst with Bell Direct. The RBA meeting minutes were released yesterday, hinting at the potential for further rate hikes to come, possibly even taking the nation's cash rate to 4.6%. As the outlook for price pressures to become embedded raises concerns for the RBA, especially if wages continue rising against stagnant productivity growth output. Stagnant productivity was a key inclusion in the RBA meeting minutes as members discussed the importance of growing productivity amid output per hour worked not increasing over the past three years, hence leading to GDP data growth actually worsening in Q1 FY23. In previous months, investors have been particularly responsive on the share market to hawkish comments from the RBA. However, yesterday bucked the trend with the key index closing higher in the likelihood that investors have already factored in the probability of further rate hikes to come. The ASX closed 0.86% yesterday, or higher yesterday, extending the ASX rally of late into a seventh straight session, buoyed by a surge in energy stocks, with the sector closing just under 2% higher on Tuesday. In Australia, retail stocks took yet another hit yesterday after Best and Less downgraded profit guidance by 65% as the consumer discretionary sector as a whole continues feeling the full brunt of declining consumer spend. The company now expects a net profit between $3.6 million and $4.2 million in H2 FY23, down from the initial guidance issued of $10 to $12 million. In China, the People's Bank of China cut two more lending rates on Tuesday for the first time in 10 months in another bid to aid recovery post-pandemic in the world's second largest economy. The Chinese Central Bank cut the one-year prime loan rate by 10 basis points and also trimmed the five-year prime loan rate by 10 basis points. Over in New York on Tuesday, stocks closed lower on Wall Street as the recent lengthy rally took a slight breather ahead of the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's congressional testimony later this week. The Dow Jones fell 0.72% on Tuesday, while the S&P 500 lost 0.47% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq declined 0.16%. On the earnings front, FedEx reports FY23 results after the closing bell on Tuesday. Adding to investor uncertainty was home building projects data in the US out for May, showing a surge in single family home building projects by the most in more than three decades, according to Reuters. In Europe, markets closed lower across the board on Tuesday as investor sentiment remains cautious, particularly following recent data from China and the lackluster return to full operational capacity in the region weighing on global economies. The stock 600 fell 0.6% on Tuesday, Germany's DAX fell 0.55%, the French CAC lost 0.27% and in the UK, the FTSE 100 lost 0.25%. Oil prices have been weaker this week on concerns over China's economic recovery after a number of large banks cut their forecasts for China's 2023 economic growth or GDP after data for May out last week showed the post-pandemic recovery is much slower and much weaker than first anticipated. On the commodities front this morning, oil is down 1.03% at $71.18 US cents a barrel. Gold is down 0.67% at 1937 US dollars an ounce. Copper is up 2.24% at 3 US dollars and 87 cents a pound and iron ore is flat at 117 US dollars a ton. Economic data out today includes UK annual inflation rate data with the market expecting a decline to 8.4% in May from 8.7% in April. Investors in the UK will also be awaiting the rate decision out of the Bank of England tomorrow with the expectation for a 25 basis point rate hike which will take the British cash rate to 4.75% for the month ahead. One Aussie dollar is buying 68 US cents, 95.85 Japanese yen, 53.7 British pence and one New Zealand dollar and 10 cents. Ahead of the local trading session here in Australia, the SPY futures are anticipating the local index to open 0.4% lower amid global market turbulence overnight. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter has downgraded the price target on mineral resources from $95 to $90 per share, but maintain a buy rating on the mining giant after the company updated the market on its lithium business, including the termination of the Mount Marion Toll Treatment Agreement with Gangfen Lithium Co. With, but Min will still sell its Mount Marion spodumene concentrate to Gangfen at market prices. Mineral Resources also updated the market on a second natural gas discovery at North Eregala Deep 1. And early results of exploration for lithium at Mount Marion confirmed exploration potential at depth.
And Bell Potter has initiated coverage of Kosol with a buy rating and a price target of $1 per share, noting the specialised digital IT solutions and data management company offers a compelling value proposition in the enterprise asset management industry. With strong financial growth, a diverse client base, strategic partnerships and actively supports its clients' sustainability goals. And that's all we have time for today. Have a wonderful Wednesday and happy investing.